This is retaliation for sanctions. There is absolutely no legitimacy. I've been threatened. My personal safety has been threatened. Uh, there are abuses and harassment that I'm constantly subjected to. Um, there's a case for isolation. I have not had a shower in two weeks. I can't use a barber. I have to cut my own hair. Uh, I can't have medical treatment. I can't have dental treatment. I haven't had books that were sent to me two months ago. Letters, nothing is being delivered. Everything is being kept from me. This is typical prisoner of war, chapter one, isolation technique. Решение суда участия на лице закрыто. Yeah, my name is Michael Yoder, and I serve as the minister counselor. For... We have seen no evidence that he is guilty, and in my country. A defendant is considered innocent until a state can show that he or she is guilty. And so far, we've seen nothing. You said this was a political case, retaliation for sanctions. What's your position on that? I think it's a good question for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Russian Federation. And his allegations that he's been physically ill-treated, threatened, abused in prison? What it's a grave concern to us. As you know, while we are given frequent access to visit with Mr. Whalen, and it's normal. It's similar to the kind of access we provide to Russian consul in, uh, to Russian prisoners in the United States. We are prevented from discussing in any way the case against him. And so that is unusual. That is not the case for Russians who are incarcerated in the United States. So in this case, he has told us before that he feels that he is under psychological pressure to confess. And in this case, we're now hearing that he feels that he is under physical threat as well to confess. And I guarantee you, we will protest this fact with the Russian government. 